One of the ways to go forwards is to engage your whole team, as many of your team as possible. They're the biggest resource you've got for, as a company, solving our climate crisis and our sustainability challenges. Their knowledge, their skills, they're the people who walk around the Wix room and see, why are we heating that space? They will all be having, this winter, coming up, if they haven't already got it, energy cost anxiety. They will also, all the surveys show, that there's an ever-increasing amount of climate change anxiety. People are becoming really worried about this. Transport costs, again, that's starting to become a barrier to some people getting to work. Can you put on community buses, potentially charged by your solar panels? Look up Newport Bus Company in South Wales. They've got fleets of electric buses, and they've set up the, the, you know, their old workshops, their old spaces, are all just covered in solar, energy, uh, solar panels now that charge the buses that then go out and service the population of Newport. Food costs, again, it's going to be a massive one. Um, and can you set up a buying co-op? Rodders, I was chairing the meeting the other day, and one of their staff just said, well, why aren't we doing bulk buying of our food and our you know, essentials to give to the team? Because some of that team will be having to go and use food banks. Um, and your estate, can you rewild it? All of your estates, there's bound to be some small bits of grass or wild land where you could put wildflowers. Um, you know, I spoke to Vince from the Newcastle and District Beekeepers Association. They said, yeah, anyone, any of your t your, the audience you're talking to will come and advise them how to put a beehive on your estate. Um, and these things, you know, it, it ties you in with your local community. It ties your workers in. It gives them positivity. All the things that Helen and the team, the previous speakers were saying, you know, we have that. We can make these people, we can engage our teams and our community and our environment.